I'm at Brennan's in New Orleans, and I'm about to have steak that I have. This is quite unique, table-side service. I mean, obviously, it's something that traditionally in America is, has always been part of fine dining, but really lost currency by, like, the 1980s, right? It, it really has. I mean, I think chefs uh, takes, have always taken care in their food, mm -hmm. but as menus have gotten a little bit smaller, they want to have more control over the food sure. and what the guest is dining. So that's one of the things that we're trying to find a little bit, is guests like the the entertainment value of going out to eat. Yeah, there's, there's something nothing... interactive about the experience. So tell us, this is four ounces of filet? Correct, these are two four ounce medallions of filet, beef tenderloin. It is our most popular dish and it's not even on the menu. Oh, is that right, this is an off the menu this item? This is an off menu item. Wow, And but people, obviously the reputation precedes it. Yes. Is it's... it also one of those instances where somebody sees it cooking across the room and like... You see it and you certainly smell you want it. it. I mean, right? be between yeah. this and Bananas Foster, you know you're in Brennan's with all the smells in the room. Getting those dog... Absolutely, get you a nice crust so you get the different textures, you get the softness of the of the tenderloin, but also you get a little bit of that crust for you. We sell somewhere between 40 and 60 of these at either breakfast or dinner. Wow. So uh, the beef industry is a big fan of Brennan. So these um, uh, mushrooms? Just good old button mushrooms, a little butter, a little garlic, uh, and a little um, thyme. I think those are the most special effects we've ever had on the meat show. This is the Steak Diane sauce. It's the traditional red wine and, and veal. So supposedly yeah. named after the uh, Roman goddess Diane? Correct, goddess of the hunt. And originally this dish, or at least is by, thought by some to have started with venison. Yes, actually, I, I've heard that too. That, um... Oh, look at that. Thank you, chef. All right. So my well, friend, thank you. That steak is Steak Diane. Beautiful. And what a great experience to actually have that cooked table side. For all of the modernity and all the great things that we enjoy in the modern world, it's kind of nice to have something that's traditional like this. Steak Diane. Perfect, oh look at that. Beautiful, beautiful pink hue. God, that flavor. I mean, I'm not the biggest filet mignon fan to be, to be honest, but when you give it such a viscous and obviously flavor imbued sauce like this, it doesn't really matter so much. But. Wow. What's so great about this dish is that you get all of those positive attributes of a steak, that really intense to see an exterior, that juicy light in the flesh. But the sauce is that almost like a braise, like a long stew. So you get those really deep, deep flavor notes. There's a real nuttiness there. And there's also this sweetness, of, oh, and that's the veal stock. Mm. I should probably say more, but I'm sort of lost in the, in the steak I am. I'm, I'm tongue tied. If you've never had table side serve, I highly encourage it. It really is part of the hospitality of fine dining. So I'm glad that it's here at Brennan's. Uh, I encourage you highly to come down here. The eggs with sod is a great way to start the meal. Steak Diane is a great way to finish the meal. Uh, for more Micho Nola, click here now, and I'll see you on the next episode. I'm here at Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture, and we're gonna find out about heritage breed turkeys. <laughs> Wait, get in line.